One more thing about the driver's license is memorable. Almost 30 years, 1999 and 90, 10, 1, 1, 24 years, and the rest 30 years. 30 years of driving license suspended. People up to 97 years old are suffering from, from, seven, um, from six, 17 years old to 99 years old are suffering a miracle of licenses. First of all, before I get into the license in the car thing, um, I want to talk about this is part of a, of a, of a regular grudge against our, our citizens. If they don't want the money, just give them the license. The federal government should not be holding grudges. You're not a banker. You're not me. You're not Citibank. You're not JP Morgan. Chase, you're not Morgan Stanley. You're not, you're not First Republic Bank. You're not a banker. The federal government was imposed to help our people, no matter what. Our U.S. Constitution was giving us rights. And we were given rights to have the things that we want here. That's what held hostage. That's why we have our, um, our United States Constitution, our amendments, and the things that protect our nation. But one thing we should protect, the right to drive. Unless you want me to have an amendment that's not the right to drive. A vehicle. But we have the right to bear arms. We have the right to drive a vehicle. I'm tired of politicians are holding everything hostage. Trust me, I made a count now, just in case, because Julie Garland is very persistent for taking over. And the and the and the US um the US House of Representatives saves me with a majority vote in order to just um to um to um take away royal um, um royal privileges in this in the in this in this nation. Because we um we would lose at the Senate floor, so it would never pass to the Senate floor. Trust me, I, because there's a lot of haters in there. Trust me, this of this um couple of Republicans on schools. Trust me. I had to assure myself last night that we had a problem. In Capitol Hill, but we don't have a problem. Right. So you should see my very um my Johnson is me, all right. Um so I get a wall. I want to talk about the the, the driving place and it's not you you holding grudges and you're holding us hostage. Hostage in our homes. Driving. I will tell you one thing, this is dedicated to my brother Ricky. Driving is one of the most therapeutic Therapeutic things is one of the most, most grateful, best gifts driving and, and going around in your car and going to, going to the store. The, the, the men, um, um, 37.9% of Americans suffer from depression. 27.9% of those don't have a car. Supposedly, 47.9% of Americans suffer from a mental health disorder. 47.4 of them don't have the luxury of having a driver's license. <laughs> That means um, 47.9% suffer anxiety. 47.2% don't have a driver's license. Driving is one of the most therapeutic things in the world. It's one of the safest things. And no driver who learned how, it was learning how to drive, this spiritual thing I had to preach here, has died from learning how to drive. I know parents are so scared to teach their students how to drive, but no one, trust me, God would never let someone who just started life and before getting their driver's license die in a car accident while they're learning how to drive. Well, I know it's very scary. And you want to go to take an empty parking lot, or you only want to do you as a parent or to drive a street, but no one has ever done it. Even older, younger, it doesn't matter. But driving is one of the most best gifts. You go do what you're going to do. You have a fight with your partner. You have a fight with your children. You take a drive. You sit in a park. You go to a waterfront and sit there. You grab a sandwich. You eat it. You go on your lunch break in your car. You listen to your music. You put your air conditioner. It's hot outside. Um, um, you, you get some steam walk there. If you're happy, you go and you call someone in a Friday to one side. If you're having a little boyfriend or girlfriend, you want your parents to know, you go and talk to the car and make a conversation. Like the car, the car, the car is for the, I'm um, driving is the most important thing in the world. And the car, the car is made in Puerto Rico the first time in 1904, right? By my uncle. And the car is one of the most, most big necessities in this nation. And having that license makes you drive that car and any car you want from a Kia. From a, from a, a Buick, from a, from a Chevrolet, from a Ford, from a DMC, to a BMW, to a Mercedes, to a Bentley, to a Maserati, all the way to a Bugatti. Cars are the most, most beautiful thing in the world. You change up, just like you change up the globe, your furniture or something. Why? Why politicians? Why, why hold? That, that, that happiness, that's, that's the key to happiness for Americans. That's the one part that, that makes 37.9% of our population in America happy. 
why hold back that happiness from 37.9% of our, our, our citizens in America? Why governors? Why senators? Why my House of Representative members? Why hold that luxury? Why the so secretaries of the department level, um, labor? Why have those people hate you every single year? And I need those people to vote for the Republican Party all across to make sure you get your license reinstated. Because trust me, those stubborn bobbleheads will not do nothing about it. Only Donald J. Trump and the Republican Party and the following Kennedy administration will do something about it. Take care. Let's keep America great.